Do you like my YouTube videos? If you do, please leave a comment and actually click on the like button. And if you want, you can hit subscribe. That way you can stay up to date with all my YouTube videos. Hey, and go ahead and click that bell icon to be notified. Thanks. Take care, guys. <sighs> you know, guys, as we get more and more and we start doing these and you start to see like some really obvious things that are wrong i just start to worry like like what's going on here like people probably take these we're gonna do ball but python next by the way but but people probably take this information and they like they probably follow it like the gospel you know like the gospel according to pet smart and it's like man some some of these are, are just really bad like what vet signed off on this like what's going on here um and that's just what worries me is like PetSmart, what what are you doing? What are you doing with these? You are you using them for anything other than to sell? That's what I feel like. So we're doing getting to know your ball python. Here's a normal ball python. I don't know if PetSmart sells morphs. Sometimes PetSmart sells morphs as fancy versions, but as you guys know, ball pythons have so many morphs. I don't know if they would sell anything other than a normal. I don't know what would qualify as a fancy for them. I, I just don't know. But I just see this generic front opening tank again. Why? Why are they not showing their front, their top opening? Excuse me. Why are they with the same basic setup? Why are they not showing you a front opening? They sell the terrariums. This is an aquarium. What? what what's going on with this thing? Dazzling and docile. Okay. Ball pythons. All right. They get their name because they curl into a tight ball with their heads pulled into the center when nervous. They also called royal ball pythons because African rulers wore them as jewelry. Yeah, especially when you had different morphs, you had like some cool looking jewelry. Um, experience level intermediate. Now, this is interesting because I would say that ball pythons are one of the easiest snakes to have, but there are some quirks, so I would put them in the the intermediate stage, um, and we'll see if they hit on those if they hit on those quirks. I don't know. This is the first time I'm looking at this, guys. Ball python, they grow sixty inches, one hundred fifty two centimeters. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll say that's accurate. We'll put them close to five feet. All right, ball pythons can live up to. I just hate when they say up to. Because they, they set that as a maximum. They should say approximately or around 30, but not up to. Because you're setting like the hard limit. And that's just wrong. I live up to 30, but once they get to 30, something just shuts off. They're dead. Diet. Carnivores. Feed on rodents. Okay. They're docile. Naturally curious. Yep, absolutely they are. Um, they're more active at night. Yeah, and a lot of snakes tend to be a little bit more active at night. But ball pythons, especially with their heat pits... Um, Here's a picture of the terrarium. Uh, what do they have as the... Uh, guys, look. There's not reptile carpet here. Amazing. Um, and, you know, they're obviously they're not going to talk about a rack system. So we, we, we know most of the stuff. The screen lid and everything like that. But what do we have as G, which is their bottom? Wait, what? Wait a second. You've got to be kidding me. Here's G down here, and then there's a letter F right there. Did did no one freaking proofread this? F reptile carpet. That's all right. Like obviously this isn't reptile carpet. Well, let's see what G is. What bedding do they use? Where's G on this list? A B C D E, friggin F, G. There's no G. They skip right to H. <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no. It's already getting bad. Um, day temperatures on the cool side, 80 to 85. Yeah, it, it, it honestly could be a little bit, it, it could be a little bit um, cooler too on the cool side. It, it can go, you can really put 75-ish in there. It's fine. Um, warm side. Yeah, it's interesting. They don't talk about a basking spot here. They don't talk about a heat mat, which they also sell. Um, I don't know if they sell any of the radiant heat panels. 
It would be interesting if they did. Um, I just don't know. Humidity, yeah, that's all right with the humidity. You can go a little higher, up to 60, 65% if your ball python is shedding. Really moisten that thing down if you want a really nice shed. Otherwise, you know, they say 70, but you can dip down into mid-60s, um, especially at night if you're not running heat or whatnot. That's okay. Um, how do you set up the ball python terrarium? Great question. Glad you asked. Ball python should live alone in the glass terrarium, at least 40 gallons, tightly secured screen lid. Okay, yeah, the living alone is interesting. I've seen some kept together, but for the general rule of thumb, they could stress each other out, so that's good. Now, look at this. Look at it. Line the bottom of the terrarium with reptile carpet or two inches of reptile. But have you, can someone show me a ball python on reptile carpet? They love selling this reptile carpet, this death trap. Remove droppings frequently and change bedding monthly, more often if needed. This is interesting to remove frequently because guys, and hopefully they'll talk about the feeding. Your snake does not poop and pee often. They eat and then they're going to have like a bowel movement. And that's pretty much it. Um, they're not going to be pooping every day. They're, sometimes they may not even poop once a week. It depends on how often they eat, how big of a meal they eat, if they're shedding or not. Because sometimes a shed will get them to poop, you know, during the shed. So, so there's a lot to go in there. And we'll see if they talk about shed, by the way. Because I haven't seen it mentioned yet, but it should be in here. Um, ball pythons retire temperature gradient. Yeah, that's fine. Place a daytime heat bulb over the habitat. Yeah, that's that's also okay, guys, because think about it, in the wild, the heat's not coming from the ground. The heat's coming from the top, heating the ground, and then the snake's laying on it. People say, oh, you need heat mats. No, most of the time, actually, for snakes, if you really want your snake to do good, you do a heat panel, like right over the uh, enclosure, or heat tape. You could do heat tape, but a radiant heat panel, really good for snakes. Heats from the top and heats the bottom. If you put a nice big piece of slate down there, your snake's getting heated from both. Hmm. Like it would in the wild. Because um, they will go, their snake in the wild is going to find a hot spot that the sun's heated up. And then they're going to lay on that and they're still beginning to get hit with the sun from the top. Um, add two thermometers. One at each end of the habitat and a hygrometer to measure the humidity. Use the chart. Yeah, that's okay. You can never go wrong with thermometers, thermostats, anything like that. Um, the more the merrier. Sometimes they're useless, but it's a rule of thumb. You can't go wrong with them. Place two hides. I do like that they mention this. One on the warm and one on the cool side. Use sphagnum moss as bedding on the warm side hut and keep it damp to create a humidity hut. You don't have to do that, but at least they talk about humidity. Because um, your humidity is already going to be at 30 to 50% for the entire enclosure. You don't need to add a special humidity hut. Also, if you are doing a rack system... You're obviously not going to have multiple hides because the whole thing is going to be a hide. But still, when you do a rack system, whether you have a heat mat or heat tape, you still only put that on like a third of the enclosure. So they have a warm side to lay on and a cool side to lay on. It acts the same. Um, stock the tank with branches for hiding or climbing. You can do this. My ball pythons like to climb up in things that look like this. So they do get use of it. They don't just have to lay in a hole. But they also do fine laying in a rack system because that's what they do in the wild. So it's okay. Mr. Python habitat is needed to maintain humidity or use a fogger. Yeah, I like to use an automatic fogger. For more information, consult people at PetSmart who don't know what they're doing. Um, nothing to mention about shed here, but but I don't think they're going to mention shed at all, actually. Uh, raising the humidity, because this is how to set it up. And then this is feeding. Let, let's hit the feeding real quick. What should I feed my ball python? One time a week, rodents. We recommend frozen and then thawed rodents. Very good. I think PetSmart also sells frozen. Snakes should be offered food at night, although adults may not feed for several weeks at a time. Okay, this is important. Snakes um, are, some snakes are definitely more active at night. Um, you don't have to feed them in the middle of the night. You could feed them in the evening. My snakes will eat pretty much at any time when they're hungry. Uh, water dish to drink from. Some people say ball pythons don't need water. I will tell you, all my ball pythons... I see them drinking. I see them go up. They put their face in. They drink. I don't see them laying in it, but I see them drinking. Um, when should you contact a vet? Th this is all pretty much the same, guys. You know, diarrhea. It's funny for more than two days, but they don't poop often. Eating or drinking less. I, I wouldn't. I'd never look at this. Just monitor the weight. Discharge. You can watch that. Yep. Shedding problems. It, it's probably not. Soak them. See if it comes off. Avoidance of the basking area. See, more time spent hiding. 
Guys, this is not good. Ball pythons freaking hide all the time. Decreased frequency, this is not really a big issue. Open mouth breathing or wheezing, excessive noise. This is sign of an RI. This is okay. It leaves out shedding. You know, two out of five. It's just meh. Thank you guys for supporting my reptile rescue family.